Hey, this is Paul from Mobile Trans Wondershare, and if you're new to the channel and don't know what we do, what we do here is we do quite a lot of tech tips and some unboxing and reviews of the latest tech devices as well. So why not subscribe to see more videos? In today's video, what we're going to talk about is how you can transfer photos over from an Android device, so maybe a Google Pixel, over to an iPhone, so in this case, an iPhone 12 Pro. And we'll give you three different ways in how you can do this. So let's get started straight away with option number one. This is to go ahead and use Mobile Trans. If you haven't downloaded Mobile Trans already, that is the first thing that you'll need to go ahead and do. And then once you do download Mobile Trans, just install it, open it up and go ahead and click on that phone transfer module from that home screen. The next thing you need to do is then go and grab both of your phones, so your Android and your iPhone, and connect them to the computer. And once you've got them connected, then they will show up in this window. You might need to swap the source and the destination device around as well, and you can do that really easily in the middle of that screen there. And then go ahead, select Photos, and then click Start, and then within a couple of minutes, that will all be done. It is as easy as that. Your photos would have transferred over from one phone to another. Okay, then option number two and method number two is to use that move to iOS app. The move to iOS app was actually made by Apple and helps people move over from an Android device over to an iPhone. But remember, if you are doing this, your iPhone will need to be wiped before you can use this app. So if there's any important information you have on your iPhone, you need to go ahead and just back that up first. Okay, go ahead and grab your iPhone and set it up as you normally would until you get to this page here that says apps and data. Then go ahead and click on that move from Android option. And if you've already set up your iPhone at this point and you can see the home screen, you need to go ahead and reset it. And I will tell you how to do that now as well. To reset it, go into settings, go to general, and then scroll down to the bottom where it says reset. Once you've then clicked reset, you need to make sure you select reset all content and settings, say yes to that, and then that will take you to the setup process of your iPhone. The next thing to do is then go and grab your Android phone. And once you've got this, head to the Play Store, download that Move to iOS app, wait for it to download, open it up, grant it all of the permissions, and then we will get started. You then need to click Continue on both devices, so on the Android and the iPhone. But on the iPhone, what that will do is show you a code, which you need to then type into the Android phone so it can establish a secure Wi-Fi connection between the two devices. Once that connection has been established between the two phones, you then just need to select all the data you want to move. So as we're talking about photos, you would select Photos, click Continue, and then give it a couple of minutes to transfer that data from the Android phone over to the iPhone. What you'll need to do after this data transfer has done, you then need to sign in with your Apple ID or create a new one. And then if you've moved anything like apps over as well, you'll then also have to just sign into those apps that you were signed into on that Android phone. Okay, then last method and method three is to go ahead and use Google Photos to make sure you can transfer those photos from your Android phone over to your iPhone. And this is one of my favorite ways to do it. So if you don't know how to do this, let me tell you how easy it can be. First of all, you will need the Google Photos app on both your Android phone and your iPhone. So go ahead and download that and then just make sure you sign into your Google account. On your Android phone, then go into Google Photos and make sure you select that backup and sync option. And if you do that, that means then some of these photos will then be stored on Google Drive. That will all be done automatically, so you don't have to worry about anything there, but then you need to go and open up Google Photos on your iPhone. When you've done that, you do exactly the same as you did on the Android phone. You just go and make sure that that sync feature is on in the iOS app, and then all the photos will start to download automatically. But this takes some time. So depending on how many photos you have in your Google Photos account, this could take up to two hours, 30 minutes, a couple of minutes. It's all dependent on how many photos you have on that phone. There we go, three really easy methods to make sure you can move your photos from an Android device over to an iPhone. So if this helped you out at all, then why not give the video a like? And if it helped you move some photos over from an Android device to an iPhone, why not hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any of the latest tech tips and tech unboxings. And if you hit subscribe, we will see you on the next video.